So hi traders, Anthony here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I trade the uh, NASDAQ. What I want to do with the video is start off with some basics in uh, regard to market structure. And then further into the video, I'm going to pretty well get into the nitty gritty of a strategy that I've been developing over the years that has been uh, producing some pretty nice results. It's important to understand the underlying narrative or the nuts and bolts if you will of what the strategy is built on or based on and it's simply looking for opportunities whenever we get a break of market structure. Okay so the video is going to be suited to all levels of traders beginners right through to advanced. If you understand market structure you might want to scrub through the video and, and uh, get into the section where we're looking at a couple of different time frames and we're working the, uh, the strategy uh, but if you're a beginner trader and you're not sure of what market structure is then what we'll do is we'll cover a bit of that now and then we'll move into how to work this strategy basically essentially what we're looking at and I've got a, a one hour chart here is you know we have a trend you want to pull a diagonal through where you see at least three touches so we could call this touch one here two and three and then we have the shift in momentum here to the downside and uh, we'll just pull that through there okay we can see that we have a trend here I know a lot of uh, traders are unsure of if you want to get into a trend early you know how to go about that in fact what we can do is kick off down here trend reversal on the one hour time frame here the strategy is is really about getting in early on a trend reversal but not only that it's about it's taking opportunities along the way pretty much every opportunity that, that, that presents itself just to get back to basics we need to understand a couple of things break of this line is not necessarily going to be a trend reversal so what we have is the concept of lower lows lower high you know what I can do with this I think I can copy that copy and paste lower high all right so the trend is defined by a series of downtrend lower highs followed by lower lows okay so here we have a higher low right there and this previous high taken out with a higher high this doesn't confirm a trend reversal at all you know there's a higher high right here so what we have here is a break of this range if I could shade that we'll call this a market shift right there if we get another higher low and another higher high we can then consider this break here pretty much a break of market structure on the one hour time frame so this is a one hour chart we're on that might not be a break of market structure on the daily but I'm looking to trade the one hour chart here and then we're going to bring in the one minute chart to go with it shortly so that's the idea uh, we're looking for the break of market structure I've made this simple we've built these indicators and what you get is this green triangle right there giving us the breakout we're looking for and not only that we have you can see this cloud here the markets trading through the cloud and we get a break a break out of this cloud at this point here under this and then we trade above the cloud and this from here to here is what we're interested in as is opportunities to short so here we're looking for uh, buy opportunities and here we're looking for short opportunities so this is where it gets really interesting. I'm going to uh, bring in the one minute chart and then we can have a look and see how we work this. The other indicator we have is the trend bars over here. Notice the color of the candles for a start. They're all green and they're all red with the exception of some white bars which indicate that, that the market's undecided or potentially consolidating. So it just helps to take out a little bit of the noise okay so we we trade the green bars or green breakout or we have a red breakout and then the other thing we have with this for those of you who uh, understand trading volume or volume profile this is our version of that it gives us accumulation and distribution level so we're looking at key levels of support and resistance 
where this is thicker, there's going to be more resistance and where it's thin, you know, where it's darker, we generally have a price gap. So we look to trade away from these lighter areas into the darker areas. So after this break here, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a clear run through here pretty much. But for this video, I'll take that out. This is the accumulation distribution levels, or I'll just back them off. We don't want that to kind of overwhelm the chart at the moment. So where this gets really interesting is when we introduce our second chart, the one minute chart here. So essentially what you're going to have, if I can come back here for a second, is let's just look at this move here for example. It's a trend but it's not picture perfect. <laughs> this is picture perfect, alright, more or less. I mean we've kind of got that and that. Okay, so there's two, two areas here where we had an opportunity but the question is how do you know, for example, this pullback here on the lower time frame or this pullback here so we've had a move and we've had a bit of a pullback here we've had another move a bit of a pullback here we've had this move we've had that so it's not picture perfect and the challenge is you know how it's a bullish trend but if you buy up in here for example I mean it's definitely forgiving as long as the trend continues but you know we don't know whether that's going to do that. So the question is, well, you know, how do we know where to get in and how to simply navigate this? And this is where the lower time frame comes in handy. So when we come into the one minute chart, given that we're trading under the cloud, we can take these trades. You can see this breakout occurred. I'll just pull a line through here. So here it is on the uh, on the one hour rejection under the cloud here we can see a little pin bar forming and we get the setup so we're now trading under the cloud on the one minute and we're looking for uh, the break it's a break of the one minute structure so we have this level through here the breakout and so we're looking for any pullback opportunity uh, to short that now there is one thing that I'd like to point out here that we need to be mindful of so let's just have a look at that uh, we'll go back and we're going to ignore the, the, the green breakout signals on, on the one minute because we're really only wanting to trade with the trend pretty much. I mean, even though this would have been quite a nice. Uh, I mean, you can. You can, definitely. It just depends on your skill as a trader. But see how this green dot formed down here? It's telling us that the market's overextended. So if we pull a line through that, where did that happen? There, it was back over here somewhere. So I mean if you wanted to get a little bit adventurous, we've got the, the green dot, the market's overextended on, on, on the higher time frame, well then we get a green break here and uh, you could have traded that potentially and you can see you know, where that ended up. Up to you, I mean that's a counter trend trade and you might want to get involved with that. But the real benefit of this is where we get, as you can see we're going back up here, this, this breakout signal here this is the one you want so this is the pullback right here trading under the cloud we get the pullback the confirmation is when this starts to move and we gain some traction with it there's the first retrace and that would be your entry short you know and this is where it really shines because you get that so that was quite a nice signal and this is why we really want to ignore the green breakout at this point okay so here's another red breakout we could have taken that as well these signals are going to be stronger the closer to this mean here this midline on the one hour chart that we pull back into so that uh, and this one is getting you in uh, at an ideal level here and again it's not just pullback that we're trading willy-nilly we're actually waiting for momentum in the market indicated by the signal where we get this break, the retest, and then there's your trade. So there's definitely, you know, momentum to the downside here. And the other thing, you know, we can look at is, you know, what are we trading into? Well, look at the resistance here. Uh, so, I mean, you can include some basic technical analysis to, to back it up and you've got a very high probability trade opportunity without a doubt. And again, I've just gone through and marked these out. There's another one here. 
These are not buy and sell signals. I just want to make that clear. These are breakout signals. Now we've got a breakout, a green breakout here, but we're going to ignore it, even though, you know, we would have got a bit out of that. See, I'm interested in trading with the trend here. Okay, look at that one. Just beautiful signal. See, now this is the thing. It's like when, you know, you're on the, the, the one hour chart here, you know, how do you know? How do you know that this is going to be an ideal entry? It's difficult to tell, but what happens is on the lower time frame, we get closer to the action and we start to see momentum to the downside here. This low, this low, pull back, and we're away. There's your signal. I want to invite you to my website. Have a look at the links above. Uh, click on the uh, store link and go into this page. We have a, a seven day free trial. You won't be billed and it'll give you an opportunity to try the, uh, the indicators and the telegram group. Click the checkout. It'll set you up in PayPal down here. You're not going to be billed. Billing starts on day seven and you can cancel at any time. So give this a shot. And for whatever reason, if this is not for you, you just log into your PayPal and you can cancel. But I can't imagine that happening once you realize how powerful this is and how this can benefit you. So uh, take up the seven day trial, find out what's possible. With that, I hope you have a great day. I look forward to hearing from you. Safe trading.